All right, all right, all right. It's Kevin Garcia, a.k.a. the Puerto Rican Kid KG. I know who this is, the GWOAT, Clarissa Shields. We're here in Las Vegas. So, I mean, obvious question. What you think about this fight this weekend, Canelo Munguia, first of all? I think it's a good fight. I think uh, Munguia is long and strong and young. You know, I think if he has a similar a similar style like Bebo, he can give Canelo some trouble. But I think Canelo know what he's up against. Yeah, yeah, it's going to be a tough fight. How do you think it goes, though? Do you think you, you got Canelo? How, you think it's a knockout? Maybe a split, but I, I do think that Jaime, sometimes when he gets mad, he gets a little excited and starts throwing really hard punches. And I think that if he does that with Canelo, he may get caught if it's too early. But do you think Jaime has a shot in this fight, or are you solid I on Canelo? Like he got a shot. Yeah, That's yeah. That's why I say I got Canelo by split, so that means, you know. Oh, Canelo by split, my bad. Okay, yeah. cool. Got you, got you. What do you think about everything that's been happening this week? You seen Oscar and Canelo get into it? Any thoughts on that? No, I don't know. I don't know much about it, but I love Canelo as a fighter, and I, and I like Oscar as a promoter. They both cool with me. How about this? Prime Oscar versus Prime Canelo. Who you got? Is Canelo in his prime now or before this? I, you know what? The, I, I guess that's depending what your opinion is on that, right? Because Canelo could just be getting better. We're going to see this weekend how he looks. He's still got big fights out there that could really cement his legacy and where he's at. In terms of his prime, he's a young guy. He's 31. I like the way that Canelo boxed in the Mexican fire. Like, he got the Mexican style, but he also got his own flavor to it. Like, he don't just come forward and just throw punches. He's real slick. He's, he's defensive. He's strong and powerful. He's his own type of Mexican fighter. I think I think a prime Canelo would give a prime Oscar some trouble. There you go, there you go. And of course, you know, another hot topic in boxing. We've seen the back and forth on Twitter, Ryan's PED usage. What are your thoughts? Man, I'm like so 50-50 because it's like, okay, the results came back and he had PED in his system. But he is innocent until proven guilty. He has to go through all these different testings and he got to be able to prove himself innocent. So it, it, it makes the fight make sense because I didn't understand it, but like I said, nobody really knows. You know, I know that we got the results and everything, and I trust Bada, and I'm a Bada athlete, and I never pop dirty, you know. But uh, he just, I feel like you have to let him go through due process, and I understand where Devin is coming from, like the anger that he has. I will be just as angry, you know, but you have to let people go through the due process and stuff. So he still can prove himself innocent or prove himself guilty but you know once you pop for anything with peds they automatically consider you a drug cheat it's just the way that the boxing fans are and they've always been that way and they'll be that way with any fighter you think it tarnishes ryan's legacy if it ends up being true i think that it takes away that fight you know it takes away from like his big victory against them if it is true you know but I speak with Ryan here and there, and I don't see him as being a guy that would use PEDs, you know, but you never know what you do on those big stages, but you just don't know. I mean, I was shocked to see the news, but even I jumped, even I jumped the gun, you know what I'm saying? I think that we should let him go through the testing and, and let him prove himself innocent and get his B sample and all that good stuff that you gotta do, but it's definitely a process. Nah, for sure. So obviously, there's um, you know, been a little back and forth with you and Tank. Any thoughts on that? Fuck Tank. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> so he gonna be here tomorrow, right? He's got his press conference. I don't give a damn where he gonna be at. I won't be there. There you go. There you go. That's all I got to say to him. And I and I hope Frank Martin tear his ass everywhere but loose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tear his ass everywhere but loose. 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 Tear his ass everyw